London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. I'm standing here on the Global Road for Russia TV today. Now, who would have believed when you see multiracial, multicultural aspects of this area now, that 50 years ago, there's some of the worst race riots ever seen in this country? Something new and ugly raises its head in Britain. In Notting Hill Gate, only a mile or two from London's West End, racial violence. No blacks, no Irish, no dogs. The signs were everywhere around Notting Hill Gate, and one of the few places where black men could live when they came over here from the Caribbean was in Powys Square right here. Well, believe me, I am speaking broad-mindedly. I am glad to know my mother country. I've been travelling to countries years ago, but this is the place I wanted to know, London. This is Notting Hill, and in the 50s, this was a close-knit, working-class white area. And, uh, the usual things that happen when they see a few new people moving in there. Uh, are they going to take our houses? Are they going to take our birds? Are they going to take our jobs? Well, my baby drove up in a brand new Cadillac. Oh, my baby drove up in a brand new This is Bletchley and Street, and this is where it all kicked off in 1958. There's a white lady and a black man having a bit of an argument. Domestic, I suppose you'd call it. And uh, the mob got involved. And of course, uh, that's what kicked it off. Come on, sugar. Come on, him up, please. Well, she looked at the boy. Oh, we'll never agree. Kind of like On the third day of riding, a chap called Seymour Mann, a young black kid lived in Derby, walked down these steps. And to his surprise, he walked out for a mob of five, six hundred people out here, begging for blood. Youths and teddy boy outfits. And they chased him. A long girl. crowd of youths chases a Negro into a greenbreaker shop, while police reinforcements are called out to check the riot. One of many that have broken out here in a few days. Here we are in uh, Blenheim Crescent in Notting Hill Gate, and this is the green door, as opposed to Hugh Grant's blue door, which is over there. Anyway, this is Total Bags, also known as the Fortress. On the last night of the riots in 1958, the Teddy Boys were going around the area, and they knew something was up because. They couldn't see many black people on the street. And of course, they came around here and they just, because this was a stronghold for black people in the area, they decided uh, to torch it. Well, little did they know, there were 300 men in here, some of who'd been recruited from Brixton, Jamaican men. Suddenly, all the windows opened and bottles and Molotov cocktails and anything they could find up there was rained down on the Teddy Boys. Then the doors burst open and there was a huge free for all in this street, right in front of us which was the culmination of that right when the old Bill came in and nicked everyone. Opinions differ about Britain's racial problems, but the mentality which tries to solve them with coshes and broken railings has no place in the British way of life. This violence is evil, and the law and public opinion must stamp it out. The three things came out of it. The Carnival, the Westway, and the Lancaster West Estate. Is that good? You tell me. Love is all I bring. 